Wait for the rain to stop and the track to dry. Let's uh, flash back to one of the most memorable moments. Remember Jim McKay calling the first lap of the 1973 event? Matson takes the base car off the track. He should get the green right now. Doesn't look like a repeat of last year's start. No, it's a good one. And here they come. Bobby Unser going for the lead. Johnny Rutherford right alongside him. Rutherford down low, but Bobby puts a goal of a crash on the home stretch. There are several cars in cars. We can't see the numbers, but it's been a bad crash on the start. He was in the middle of the field somewhere. Those explosions are not cars. Those are the bombs overhead that are normally set off during the start of the race. There is a report already that there may be spectators hurt. Not confirmed. The wire fence right here on the straightaway was ripped apart. It was very fortunate that a car did not come into the crowd because one of the standards holding up the wire screen has also been broken in half. Right here at the most crowded part of the grandstand, we almost had an automobile go into the crowd. And it appears definitely that uh, there are spectators injured, but here's a replay of what happened here. He was back in the sixth or seventh row of this car. Conjecture that it might have been salt water, but watch. There's a car going, starting to the right. Right there, and look at this. Incredible explosion, fuel spraying out over the spectators in the first few rows. That could mean real trouble. And an ex explosion, and like a pinwheel or a garden sprinkler, all the fuel is being sprayed out of the car. That could be a good thing for the driver if he has survived this crash. Car upside down, coming to a rest. Another view of this from a head-on camera. And again, you will see how this the cable, cables inside this screen are the only thing to stop this car from flying into the crowd. There, watch now. The screen itself is completely destroyed. The cables flinging him back out on the race course upside down. And again, that fuel spraying on the crowd. That's a matter of great concern. And here, that pinwheel effect. The alcohol-based fuel spinning out of the car upside down. Another car, Lee Koonsman, I believe, number 16, barely missing the crash. It's Salt Walther, who is under the car. Terrible, terrible accident on the start at Indianapolis.